everyone and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to show you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, we simply have very little news to share with you right now on our various projects. There are a couple reasons for that. The first being that there are a few people battling sickness in the company right now, and without them at full speed, it just takes a little while longer to have that newsworthy information readily available. Additionally, many of our projects are at points in which there can be a sort of logjam of information. What that means is that we're in the middle of our discussions with the factory about the different elements in each project, and sometimes there can be times of very little information as we wait to hear back from the factory. This doesn't mean that there will be delays. It's simply part of the process. But we do want to make sure it's clear that the proverbial balls are continually rolling in the right direction. When or if something should go awry, then we'll of course let you know about it. So very often, as my dad used to always say, no news is good news, meaning that things are still going as planned and expected. I'll be back to normal this week with a Mythic Plays live stream on Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and a live Q&A on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. So be on the lookout for those. Now, we do have a bit more information on a few of our projects, so let's get to them. For our Brazilian backers of Joan of Arc, we have some good news for you. Meeple Logistics and Galapagos have completed the very tedious paperwork process for getting your pledges to you. Because Brazilian Customs will destroy packages if they arrive without proper paperwork, the process for completing that paperwork must go through a very painstaking process to ensure it's filled out correctly. We received report that this process is now complete and that the backers' pledges will be headed to Galapagos within the next week. So while it has taken a little bit longer, please understand that it was a necessary evil to make sure your pledges make it to their final destinations. For Solomon Kane today, our apologies for not mentioning this last week, but if anyone outside of North America needs to change their shipping address from where they received their Wave 2 products, please contact Meeple Logistics at save, that's S-A-V, dot Meeple hyphen logistics dot com. You'll see it right over here as well. Let them know that your shipping address has changed since you received your Wave 2 shipment and that you have a new address for the Maryland Mini replacement. If you experience any difficulties, please feel free to reach out to our CS team at support at mythicgames.net and they should be able to smooth that out. But please attempt to go through Meeple Logistics first because they already have the entire list of addresses. Well met companions, y'all did it. The Anastir Kickstarter campaign ended last Friday, May 6th, bringing in no less than $1,079,826 from 5,569 backers. We cannot thank you enough for all of your support. You managed to unlock no less than 36 stretch goals, meaning that the core box now contains 135 minis. You also unlocked a complete region expansion called the Bone Swamp, a 3D scenery expansion, and the Unexpected Allies expansion, which contains four more heroes that will be added to the core box. You also unlocked 13 alternate sculpts for minis, in the core box, in addition to many others that will be added to their respective add-on expansions, and an additional stretch goal box. We had one last stretch goal planned for the 1.1 million mark that we just missed, the horned helmet version of the hero Brid. But because of the great enthusiasm and general good mood of the campaign, we decided to offer it to you anyway. So the game will now include both versions of Brid, with and without her helmet. Now we know your minds are probably turned to the thoughts of the Pledge Manager and Late Pledge Campaign and when it will open. 
Generally speaking, we open the Pledge Manager within four weeks of the close of the Kickstarter campaign. So, be on the lookout for that announcement. We will be letting everyone here know and in our other avenues of communication as soon as we know exactly when it will open. Now, we've also heard the requests for more information on the TTS module, the Tabletop Simulator module, and I do know that it is being worked on. Now, we've had a module that we've been able to use internally, but that's a lot different than having something available that anyone can play on their own. So, as soon as we have more information about that, we'll be letting you know. Thank you once again for your support and enthusiasm thus far. We certainly can't wait to get started on the journey to getting Anastir into your hands. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions that you'd like to ask or maybe you just want to see what he might be able to show because you just never know what might show up on one of Leo's live Q&As. As mentioned earlier, on, be on the lookout this week for my videos on Thursday and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. That's it for today, though. Once again, stay safe and play some games while you're at it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. <music>